டியர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஐ எம் டாக்டர் கே கண்ணன் ப்ரொஃபஸர் மெக்கானிக்கல் இன்ஜினியரிங் அஞ்சலையம்மாள் மகாலிங் இன்ஜினியரிங் காலேஜ் கோயில் வண்ணி ஐ எம் ஹாப்பி டு மீட் யூ அகைன் இந்த வீடியோ லெக்சர் இந்த சப்ஜெக்ட் தெர்மோடனமிக்ஸ் இன் தமிழ் இது லெக்சர் நம்பர் ஃபோர் பாயிண்ட் செவன் எக்ஸர்ஜி பார்ட் டூ இதுக்கு முந்தின லெக்சர்லேயும் எக்ஸர்ஜி பற்றி டிஸ்கஸ் பண்ணோம் அவைலபிள் எனர்ஜியை பற்றி டிஸ்கஸ் பண்ணோம் வி கண்டினியூ தி டிஸ்கஷன் ஆன் எக்ஸர்ஜி த கண்டென்ட் ஃபார் தி லெக்சர் we have to dead state availability irreversibility gibson helmholtz function first and second law efficiency in the topic la namba discuss panna porom the learning outcome to the students at the end of the lecture the student will be able to define what is dead state write the availability equation for flow and non flow system define second law efficiency dead state ஃபஸ்ட்டு யூனிட்டில் ஃபஸ்ட்டு சாப்டரில் நம்ம தெர்மல் இக்குலிபிரியம் பற்றி படிச்சுருந்தோம் தெர்மல் இக்குலிபிரியம் அதுக்கு ரிலேட்டடாக உள்ள ஒரு கான்செப்ட் தான் டெட் ஸ்டேட் வென் ஏ சிஸ்டம் இஸ் இன் இக்குலிபிரியம் வித் சரௌண்டிங் இட் மஸ்ட் பி இன் ப்ரெஷர் அண்ட் டெம்பரேச்சர் இக்குலிபிரியம் வித் சரௌண்டிங் ஸோ ப்ரெஷர் இக்குலிபிரியம் இஸ் மெக்கானிக்கல் இக்குலிபிரியம் டெம்பரேச்சர் இக்குலிபிரியம் இஸ் தி தெர்மல் இக்குலிபிரியம் ஸோ பட் தி சிஸ்டம் இஸ் இன் இக்குலிபிரியம் வித் சரௌண்டிங் சரௌண்டிங் டெம்பரேச்சர் சரௌண்டிங் ப்ரெஷரோட ஈக்குவலாக இருக்கணும் the pressure and temperature should be equal to the surrounding condition it must also be in chemical equilibrium with the surrounding so there is no chemical reaction between the system and the surrounding the system must be zero velocity minimum potential energy this state is known as dead state so dead state abdin sonna ka the system is in equilibrium with the surrounding the pressure temperature is equal to the surrounding and the mere state ku vand dead state nu solluvo and the dead state inge vand calculating availability it is a reference point or a system or heat interact pannadunaka it is rejecting heat to the surrounding ipo carnot engine la vand heat is rejected abdin padikrom heat is rejected to the surrounding inge vand system is in equilibrium with the surrounding abdi irundhuchunaka that is called as dead state availability so availability is a of a system is defined as the maximum useful work that is obtainable in a process in which the system comes to equilibrium with the surrounding or the dead state so or system vand surrounding kuda equilibrium condition ku vandichinaaka evlo work produce pannum kodaka that will produce the maximum work so there are two types of processes namba yerkane vand open system closed system nu padichirukom a device working on open system it is called as steady flow process a device working on closed system is called as non flow process ipo practically ella system ella device me vand non flow process non flow process vand it is only very it is theoretical we assume that the process is non flow but practically the flow is flow process so availability of steady flow process the availability associated with the steady flow process neglecting kinetic and potential energy so w maximum equal to h1 minus to s1 minus h2 minus to into s2 so h1 enthalpy to surrounding temperature because the system is in equilibrium with the dead state surrounding s1 entropy minus h2 minus to into s2 so the first term is called as b1 second term is called as b2 so b is the kinon function then we rearrange the equation the rearrangement namaka h1 minus h2 minus to into s1 minus s2 in the equation inge jam vachukonu w maximum for the steady flow process h1 minus h2 minus to into s1 minus s2 now the availability of the availability of steady flow process per unit mass so w max is equal to in the equation second equation we have divided by mass so specific enthalpy h1 minus specific enthalpy h2 minus to atmospheric temperature into s1 minus s2 specific entropy s1 and specific entropy s2 so sometimes problem vand availability of steady flow process contribute solvanga appo ninga in the equation w max contribute kadrathukku the equation yaam vachukonu then availability of non flow process the maximum work obtainable or availability of non flow process when the system comes to equilibrium with the surrounding so the here again the same concept if the kinetic energy and potential energy are neglected 
the availability of non-flow system becomes W maximum equal to U1 plus POV1 minus TOS1. This is the inlet today availability minus outlet condition, end condition today availability U2 plus POV2 minus TOS2. Rearrange bandam naka U1 minus U2 plus PO into V1 minus V2 minus TO into S1 minus S2. So, W maximum for non-flow process in the equation in the equation. The same equation for unit unit mass. If kinetic energy potential energy is neglected, the availability per unit mass becomes. So, the equation divided by mass W maximum equal to U1 small U1 minus small U2 plus PO into small V1 minus small V2 minus TO into S1 minus S2. So, availability of non-flow process, availability of flow process, we have to remember for solving the problem. Then Gibbs function, if you have availability of flow process check, H value H minus Ts, that is Gibbs function, G1 minus G2. So, H is the enthalpy, T is the temperature and S is the entropy. Similarly, Helmholtz function. So, the availability of non-flow process, check in the equation resemblance are u minus t into s. So, Gibbs function, Helmholtz function, either no important, they are the property. They are the property of the system. Why? Number the property in children kataka. Look at the right hand side. Enthalpy, temperature, entropy. Internal energy, temperature, entropy. Right hand side, all the three terms, all the three parameters are properties. Upper left hand side of property. So, Gibbs function, Helmholtz function, they are the properties of the system. The next concept, irreversibility. The difference between maximum work and actual work is called as irreversibility of the process. So, we cannot recover back. What is irreversibility? We cannot recover back the energy. So, it is also referred to as degradation or dissipation of energy. So, what is energy loss to the surrounding, loss to the universe? That is called as irreversibility. So, I equal to W maximum minus W, which is equal to TO temperature into delta S system plus delta S surrounding. Delta S system naka internal irreversibility. Delta S system is the internal irreversibility. Irreversibility within the system. For example, if you compressor, compressor kulla ulla irreversibility da delta S system. Or turbine kulla ulla irreversibility delta S system. Delta S surrounding uh, the system, there is a heat loss from the turbine to the atmosphere. Adanala vara irreversibility da vandu, adanala vara change in entropy da vandu delta S surrounding. Idhar ending coat namna ka add pan namna ka that is delta S universe. System plus surrounding kulla delta S universe. So, irreversibility is equal to TO surrounding temperature into delta S universe. In the equation yam for solving the problem. Then guys Tadola theorem. The rate of loss of available energy in a process is proportional to the rate of entropy generation. It is the theorem. Sometimes, very rarely, two more questions like you have to remember. I equal to W lost. So, W last thing is W maximum minus W. This is equal to TO into delta S universe. That is equal to TO into delta S generation. That is entropy generation. So, irreversibility equal to TO into entropy generation. Rate of entropy generation. That is the guy Stodola theorem. So, for number Carnot efficiency, first law efficiency, that is the rending use of the second law efficiency. Define the Carnot efficiency. Eta Carnot equal to what? The work output of a device. Work output of the Carnot engine divided by work input to the energy input to the device. Maximum. So, Carnot engine will produce the maximum work. Carnot engine will produce the maximum work. That is the numerator of the maximum work output of a device. So, Carnot engine will produce the maximum work among all the engine because Carnot engine is a reversible engine. A reversible engine will produce the maximum work. So, Carnot efficiency equal to maximum work, maximum energy output of the device will be actual energy input of the device. First law efficiency, actual energy output of the device will be actual energy input of the device. So, first law efficiency, net to work divided by the heat supply. 
network divided by the heat supply. Heat supply is the actual energy input to the device. Network is the work output of the device. So, this is the again network divided by the heat supply. But the network will be maximum. Carnot engine the network will be maximum. Another maximum energy output of the device is defined. Then, second law efficiency minimum available energy divided by actual available energy. So, second law efficiency in the EK in the EK in the EC. Efficiency, second law efficiency, we will define it. Second law efficiency equal to first law efficiency divided by the Carnot efficiency. In the moon term, sometimes they will ask a problem in the second law efficiency. Calculate the second law efficiency of a device. So, we stop here. Thank you for watching. If you have doubt, you can WhatsApp number message. I will answer your question. If you have two lectures, important equations. Aditha end lecture la we are going to solve problem in the availability concept and the irreversibility concept from the university question paper. So, that is very useful. If you have a lecture listen to it, you note down important equation required for solving the problem. So, we will meet again in the next lecture.